I love the, the, the facade of the house. I have a book about lost London and there's a photo of it around Liverpool Street, but just this facade's left and there's modern buildings either side of it. And they actually removed it when they were rebuilding Liverpool Street Station and now it's here. You have to kind of imagine it like in London, imagine the people looking out the windows and it was eventually like split up I think but it would have been much wider. The human aspect of objects is always the most interesting and the mistakes and the cracks. When you're recording a song you never want to make it inhuman, you always want to keep like the faults and keep the mistakes. You know you really want to have the kind of the hiss and the fuzz and because you can feel like something being made and you can feel the kind of humanity behind it. I think a lot of like my performance comes from just not generally wanting to grow up. I remember having a conversation with my mother when I was like, ah, oh, you know, I used to be able to like completely imagine I was in like a different world. A lot of what I do is now going back to that kind of time when everything that you kind of imagined you can, you could make real. I'm always more attracted to the sort of more derelict side of things than the, than the new. But what's interesting here is it's it's all kind of quite beautifully come together in the sort of the, the new and the old. It reminds me of those Rachel White Reed sculptures, yes. which the kind of the in, yeah, the inside of the house, and it's got really like looking at space in a completely different way. I always kind of want to put myself in the position of being actually there, you know, imagining living there, imagining that I was a kind of character in that house's story, and what you know, what what would I play? Would I be the kind of lady, or would I be the the kind of servant girl? <laughs>